Hey guys, Snowbeck here. I uh, hanging out in my garage. I'm getting ready to do some work on my uh, Mustang II. Uh, I showed you uh, a couple weeks ago. We went to the junkyard and I was showing you a uh, Thunderbird hood. Well, I decided to go ahead and get the Thunderbird hood. So it's uh, sitting over here and I have a extra Mustang II hood and what a difference you'll see in size and weight, let me tell you. That Thunderbird hood, that thing must weigh 150 pounds. It's, it's, a, it's a heavy one. So uh, the Mustang II hood, you can pick that up with one hand. So that thing hardly weighs anything. So I'm going to walk you over there. We're going to take a look at it. It's a nice uh, Saturday in Ohio. It's actually in the 40s today. It's great. So we're hanging out in the garage, having some rum and Cokes, and uh, let's walk over there and check this out. Okay guys, so here we got the uh, Mustang 2 hood. I had an extra one. I had it up in the attic of my uh, shop. And then uh, I, I had a car that I parted out and I just kept all the good stuff off of it. So we got that hood. And then we got the uh, Thunderbird hood. I'm not sure, it's a 60, mid 60s Thunderbird. And uh, the hood scoop is, I think the hood scoop is pretty sweet. But as you can see, what a size difference. Big difference. So, Looks like we got, I put a line on there. We got like 46 inches to right here. And this hood, 44 inches. So you can see that this is even just, I mean the total hood is so much bigger, but just the hood scoop itself is longer than my whole hood. So it looks like, you know, we'll just cut it. We'll just cut the back of it, you know, cut it down a little bit right there. And, uh, but as I uh, mentioned on the video when we went to the junkyard, I thought maybe this hood was functional, but I don't think it is because it's all metal up underneath of that little chrome grill. So I think is what I'm going to do is, um, this grill, it looks like it comes off. So I'm going to pull this thing off and then I'm going to cut all that metal out of there. And maybe it's just these uprights I'll leave so this grill can go back on. But I'm going to cut all that out of there and make it work. And then I'll, I'll fact, I'll, uh, I'll make the, the hoods, the air cleaner that's underneath, I'll, I'll cut some metal and make, make it so it kind of hook when the hood goes down, it kind of connects and all that air will go right into the air cleaner, right from, right from the hood scoop. Kind of like a Ram Air deal. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Because what I'm thinking about doing is, because this thing is so long, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to cut it the whole length of the hood here, and I'm going to bring this piece here, this this section, this actually is a separate piece than this, so it looks like this whole piece comes off, and then that's its own piece. So uh, I'll see how that all goes, see how that works when I pull it apart. But is what I'm going to do is, I'm thinking about taking this whole scoop and bringing it all the way to the end. So the actual scoop will just be kind of almost hanging over the edge of this hood or right to the end. I think that will look pretty sweet. So, but the nice thing is it's only 24 inches wide. So I got plenty of room side to side to cut and, and put that in. And the other nice thing about the Mustang two hoods is there's only one support going you got supports here and here, and there's only one going across the middle. This Thunderbird hood, it's got supports back and forth, side to side, up and down. It's got stuff everywhere. That's probably one of the reasons why it's so heavy. You, I could stand on that thing, and it wouldn't even dent. So the nice thing, you know, because I put that scoop on there, I'm just taking the metal off the top. I got all that room in the middle to where I can uh, make that air cleaner kind of function up with that hood scoop maybe I'll even make something underneath of the hood that kind of comes down and it goes right into the scoop so all that air will come in through there and go right in so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to do I'll do another video on uh, where I, I'm going to grind this down take it all down to bare metal here take this down to bare metal we'll cut that out we'll set it on here we'll mock it up see how it's going to look before we weld it and uh, you know see what I got to cut here to make that work I don't want to I don't want to lose any strength on this hood, so I may have to take, maybe I have to take one of the pieces of structure underneath of that and weld it into the bottom of this. We'll see. Maybe just that hood scoop metal will be strong enough in there and it won't have too much of a problem. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, I also 
I found these tires. A buddy of mine gave me these. He had them in his garage, just kind of sitting around. Look at the size of them. Those things are 12 inches wide. They're 15s, BF Goodwrench. So, and I had these rims already. These are 10 inch deep uh, weld drag lights. Maybe they're center lines. They might be center lines or weld, but they're uh, drag stars, not drag lights. Drag stars. So I'm gonna mount those tires on these rims. And then is what I'm thinking about is on the 78 that I'm gonna, that I wanna do for SEMA, my T-top car, I'm thinking about, I wanna cut out the uh, inner fender wells. So I'm gonna cut them fender wells and add about three or four inches in there. You know, a strip right down the middle, I'm gonna cut them out. And then that's why I wanted these big fat tires. So I wanna see how much room I got in the back of that thing that I can put these tires in there. Because the way that these rims are offset, you know, I don't even think I'll have to cut the axle down. You know, these rims, half of it goes underneath the car and half of it will go in the wheel well. So with a little bit of work on that, a um, little bit of work on that wheel well, these things might just fit under there, we'll see. I mean, leaf springs might be in the way, but we'll see what we do with that. So uh, we still got the, uh, 77 in there. He's up on the lift. He's taking a nap right now. So we're going to be putting a cam and getting that thing going here So uh, within the next couple of videos, we'll be putting it putting it probably the first of the year. We got Christmas in like three days so uh, We're going to be putting a cam in that baby and getting her ready to go And then we're going to try these big fat tires on this thing And we're going to mess with this hood scoop and see if we can get this scoop mounted on the Mustang hood and see what you guys think of that. Please like, tag, share, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making more videos. We're going to do, like I said, we're going to do the videos on these hoods. We're going to do the videos on these cool tires and wheels. And uh, for those of you who remember, I put that heater in. And let me tell you, that, that thing heats this garage so nice. It's like 65 degrees in here. Now, we're granted it's uh, 40 degrees outside right now. But a couple days ago, it was 12 degrees outside. And it's still not too bad in here. I think it went down to like 60. So that heater works great. And I have it on the lowest possible setting you can put it on. So just remember, please like, tag, share. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.